when it comes to men and our feelings, we don't necessarily talk about them as much as we should. Not because we're taught growing up that we shouldn't talk about them. I was raised by two women, my mother and my nan. They always told me that if I had any issue with my emotions or if there was anything wrong, I was to talk about it. And for the most part, when I was a young child, I did. But as I started growing older and I started becoming a man, I realised that constantly whining about your issues, i.e. physically crying about them or stomping your feet at how life is so unfair, it gets you actually nowhere. Now, I know some of you who follow me on Twitter know that I say that I give up a lot, but that's because sometimes I just need an outlet. I say that because I... I just don't know what to do and then obviously people talk to me in my direct messages ask what's up and I say and everything gets better well for that little bit but what I'm trying to say is we're not told that we're not supposed to talk about our emotions we just choose not to it's a waste of time in most cases because most people don't tend to listen to men anyway even when we do I mean you get there you get articles that basically say or from a couple of years ago that say men need to form more bond uh, closer bonds to actual men to give women a a bit of peace from men's emotions and then a little while ago there was a li another article saying male on male bromances harm LGBTQ people it's like we cannot win we talk about our emotions with our we don't talk about our emotions with our friends and we get told we should start doing that. Well, we start forming those relationships and start talking about our emotions with our friends. And we eventually get told that's not good enough. It's harming LGBTQ people. You should stop. But the reason why I'm talking about this is because when it comes to talking about our depression, we don't really do that. I mean, we should, and we well, wholeheartedly should. But we should t only talk to those about it who matter, i.e. our parents, if our parents are no longer with us, uh, our closest friends, our st any psychiatrists, our doctors, people who, p people who are there to actually listen. What most people don't realise is we just don't random talk to random people about our emotions because what's the point? But I brought this up because mainly Johnny Depp suffered depression after Amber Heard divorce questioned a situation after being truthful. It got to a point in Johnny Depp's life that all of this was happening that he developed depression and he questioned how truthful his account of things was. That's how bad he got and how no one would believe him. It's, it's really sad. Johnny Depp suffered a depression after his divorce from Amber Heard. Life was hard for the parts of the Caribbean star following his split from Heard. The latter accused him of being violent and shamusive. I'm trying to keep my videos monetized so I will say stuff that you can read it on the screen. Uh, and, but, and he was condemned by netizens and news outlets. Aside from his marital problems, Depp was fi uh, facing financial woes. The crashing down of his personal and financial life led to acute depression, which the actor candidly talked about in an interview with Rolling Stone in 2018. I was as low as I believe I could have gotten, Depp said in a dead voice. The next step was you're going to arrive somewhere with your eyes open and you're going to leave them with your eyes closed. I, could, uh, I couldn't take the pain away every day. Due to the intense heartbreak, Depp decided to write a memoir using a manual typewriter. He poured vodka in the morning and would start writing until tears filled his eyes and he could no longer see the page anymore. It came to a point when he questioned his situation and himself as to what he did to deserve it uh, when he was being kind and truthful. And that's the point. Many men will feel that anything we go through is our own fault, not the fault of anyone else. We internalise the struggles and basically wonder how life got to a point or what we did in life to get to that point to be that affected by something when 
nine times out of ten it's not us who got to that point it's everyone else that got us to at that point basically what I'm saying is we didn't do anything to get ourselves there but we didn't do anything to stop other people forcing us into that way like when it comes to this Shamus from Amber Heard he could have left her at any point but he wanted to try and work it out he couldn't so he just tried to steamroll ahead and to get things done but in trying to do that he calls himself neurological issues with his depression I kept trying to figure out what I had done to deserve this I tried being kind to everyone helping everyone being truthful to everyone the truth is the most important to me and all this still happened Depp said I want to let everyone on to a little secret it doesn't matter what you do in life no matter how successful you are no matter how nice you are no matter how no matter how kind you are to people there will always be someone there to try and tear you down that's just life what you need to do is you pay no attention to those people and you just carry on with your life you prove to them that no matter what they can try to do to you they will not be able to stop your life and they will not be able to stop what you do and they will not be able to stop you marching forward and proving the world wrong about everything about your type of people Depp kept, uh, Depp kept his silence for a while despite Heard's allegations against him in an interview with uh, GQ in the same year the Rum Diary actor admitted that he kept his silence because he knew that things would just get weirder and he was not into a missing contest with someone and that's the point is everything we know about the situation makes the situation seem a whole lot weird but that's mainly because we don't know the events that actually happened around those all we know is the evidence that Johnny Depp has shows that Amber Heard was the schmoozy one what we don't know is just how schmoozy she actually got we know snippets that could be the tip of the iceberg yet we do not know this because we do not know exactly what happened however he admitted that he felt low and the people looked at him differently because of Erd's accusations against him he was aware of the reports about him suggesting that he needed to take a sanity test but when he was going through it he was sure that the truth would eventually come out good news Johnny it has come out and those who did not believe you are basically now trying to say they supported you but ignore those they didn't they did not support you they automatically thought that you were the schmoozive one because obviously you are the man ignore them they they're not the right kind of people they're not they're not the people you need to worry yourself about or you the people you need in your life the people you need in your life are those who were there for you no matter what from the beginning who the moment they saw the accusations were going round saying to people no it just doesn't sound, seem right. I in in this case, take your ex-wives. They were they came out and said that you couldn't do this. That you were the nicest person ever. Sure, you had your arguments, but everyone has arguments. It's human life. When you get two people with that much emotion and that meant that much hormones going around with each other, you're going to get some conflicts. It's it's human. Obviously, if you can hear anything in the background, I do apologise. Some neighbours cannot uh, understand that uh, some of us need to try and earn money via doing other things that aren't hoovering. Uh, but the only thing I could do was to know that I s know what I still know. Ultimately, the truth will come out in all of this and I will be standing on the right side of the roaring rapids. And you are, mate. You are. Everyone believes you now. It, it shouldn't have taken what it shouldn't it should not have taken what people now know to for them to believe you but it has and the the support has been there i hope other people will be too i know the truth and i if i had to walk away from it all today the job the career all of it and go to the loo then fine Depp said 
and Depp's inner circle reportedly discouraged him from marrying Heard. however he did not listen to them and ignore their opinion. Well you shouldn't have. Let's actually go through and have a look at this shall we? Oh typical, it's got a bloody ad playing. There we go. Johnny Depp's pals begged Axel not to marry Amber Heard but he ignored them. Uh, Johnny Depp's close pals reportedly begged him not to marry Amber Heard. Uh, Depp and Heard's marriage didn't last too long, however the Pirates of the Caribbean star was so in love with the actress that he ignored his close friends and plea not to marry the actress. In 2018, most reports about Depp were bad news. The actor had financial problems and parted ways from his long-time lawyer and agent. And there were also claims he couldn't remember his lines when filming that they had to be fed to him through an earpiece. On top of that, he was of that was his controversial split from Heard, who accused him of being violent and shamusive. And Depp's friends reportedly disapproved of Heard in the first place. I mean, when it comes to being disapproving of her in the first place, I can understand how that would feel because she has previous of being shamusive herself. Uh, Depp's inner circle had begged him not to wed Heard or to at least obtain a prenup. Depp ignored his loved one's advice, Stephen uh, Roderick of Rolling Stone wrote. Now, when it comes to Rolling Stone, I don't trust their, I don't trust their analysis on most things, because of their Jackie case. But sometimes they do get it right. Depp's relationship with his sister Christy was badly damaged after he married Aquaman actress without a prenup. He cut himself off from those people. Those only people who looked out for him, a lifelong associate of Depp said. It sounds to me that she was being abusive from the start. She basically gaslit him and controlled him and manipulated him into basically getting what she wanted. And that's basically not right. A few weeks back, an audio recording of her confessing that she tapped Depp leaked. She also taunted her ex-husband to tell the world that he was the victim and see how many would believe in given that he is a man. Well more people believe him now than they did back then i know it shouldn't have take shouldn't have taken all the evidence that he had to produce for people to believe him but people now believe him and people now believe you believe him over you and can see you for the uh, shamuza that you are uh, following the leakage the netizens moved to campaign for justice for depp prior to that depp was already said to be in a, uh, already said in a $50 million defamation case against Heard that he was the victim. He also vehemently denied all the Shamus allegations against him because he never put a hand on her as, as well as the, to the other women in his life. That is demonstrably false. Even his exes came out and said that nothing like that ever happened. Depp said that he would continue to deny all the domestic Shamus allegations against him all his life. And so he should. He should not have to take responsibility for her actions. I never shamused Miss Heard or any other woman, Depp said in a court document. She was the perpetrator and I was the victim. We know this for a fact because women tend to be domestic. Domestic shamus uh, perpetrate it in a lot of cases. They, they start it most. Yet they're the ones that are hurt most by it. A, a kind of a thing there is don't start it then and you won't be a victim of it. It's that simple. Depp's exes including Winona Ryder, Vanessa, Pr uh, Vanessa Pradis, or Pradi, and Laurie and Allison all said that he never shamused them. In fact, they described Depp as a soft person. Ryder said that Depp was a really good, loving, caring guy who is very, very protective of the people that he loves. And so he should be. Everyone should be. But the fact that she took a she took advantage of that and he ended up getting depression over everything that happened to him is beyond disgusting anyway that sh we should start to move to believe more male victims it's not the fact that our emo we don't talk about emotions we just don't feel comfortable talking about them with people that we don't know when it comes to this sort of thing it's best to be it's best to be close to someone. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and thank you all for the continued support. This month has been a fantastic one. If you'd like to keep the channel up and running while I search for employment, please consider look, linking, uh, going to the links down below, i.e. to my Patreon or to my Streamlabs for a one-time donation. Every little helps, so it doesn't matter whether you feel you're not doing your part. 
it, now that I'm monetized, even just watching the videos to the end gets me a little bit of income. It's not much, but it will still be something at the end of the day. So, obviously, thank you for sticking around if you've stuck around this far. If you have, let me know down in the comment section down below. And obviously, let me know about your thoughts about this entire situation down below as well. I'll try to get through every single comment. I know I'm really bad at the moment of actually replying to comments but I do see them all and I do give them all a like and it's just that I'm trying to it's not easy I'm trying to look for work trying to keep the channel going trying to find something that I can do to ease the pain in my leg because that's getting worse it's now to the point where my strong pain meds do absolutely nothing for it so obviously I've got to go back to the doctors on Monday to try and see what they, they suggest but it's got to a point where nothing is really working anyway enough about me thank you all for sticking around this far if you have obviously thank you all for your continued support you mean a lot to me thank you very much and I'll see you all in the next one bye for now remember guys if you like what I do remember to hit that subscribe like buttons and consider supporting me on patreon or buying some merch from my T Public store links to those will be in the description thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one